Hello Sustainable Growers, today in this video we're going to go to Vietnam and we're going to visit a farm of Bassa. You know Bassa is one of these catfish from Asia uh, that is sold everywhere in the world. Uh, that's one of the most farmed fish. So today we go and we visit the fish farm in, uh, in Vietnam. That's a really big uh, fish farm and that's a special fish farm that is uh, sustainably certified. Before anything, uh, give me a like, give a like to this video share it with your friends if you haven't done it yet you can subscribe to the channel and don't forget to get uh, your, the six steps guide from the description of this video this is a guide that is going to help you to build your own aquaponics setup and to produce your own food at home it's free and i designed it to help you to build your aquaponics setup with success enjoy the video Hello Sustainable Growers, this is Jonathan from Melbourne Aquaponics and today we are in Vietnam in the Mekong Delta visiting a Bassa farm and uh, this farm is a bit special because uh, it's certified ASC and uh, Global Gap which means uh, Aquaculture Stewardship Council and uh, Global um, Good Aquaculture Practice which is uh, actually two certifications of sustainability. So here we got 11 ponds, um, really big ponds, you can see at the back. And they are really full of bassa, which is a bassa, which is a, a fish that is uh, sold everywhere in the world. Uh, and sorry, I wear some glasses because uh, the sun is very strong here. Um, so I have to <laughs> keep those glasses, otherwise I will not be able to uh, make this video correctly so here we can see some kind of uh, floats or boats where we got some fish food prepared to fill oh excellent can we go with yeah. excellent and uh, how many fish do we have into those ponds uh, it's about uh, 700 tons yeah. per pond yeah. 700 this pond, this in this pond we got 700 tons of fish Wow, that's crazy. And um, uh, so at the moment we got 700 tons of fish. And then when you grow to which size? You grow them to which size? To one kilo before you harvest them? Uh, usually I, uh, I, keep, uh, I keep until uh, the suitable size for production. For the, uh, for the production, yeah. And then we harvest. Yeah, and so what is a, a suitable size for production, mm -hmm. approximately? It's, uh, it depends on the uh, contract. On the contract, yeah? yeah? So it goes from, what, 500 grams to 2, two kilo, yeah. approximately? Yeah. So when those, those fish reach the maximum size, what is going to be the, uh, the maximum quantity of fish you will have here? Maximum about uh, 800, 850, 850 uh, they will harvest. Don't, uh, don't keep until uh, one kilo. How much food has it been uh, thrown in the water right now? What is the quantity of food? Twice a day. Twice a day? Yeah. yeah. In each, uh, each time it's about um, five tons. Five, five tons? Ton. Five tons fish. So ten tons a day? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Mm. 700 tons and they feed, they feed ten tons? Yeah. Okay. Wow. That's impressive. Um, and so they're going to harvest them soon. As you say, they, they're going to harvest se 70 tons per day of fish, right? Yeah. So bassa is a fish that is sold everywhere in the world because uh, the flesh is really white, it's, uh, it doesn't have a very strong flavor and it's very cheap as well. 
so it can be sold to anyone any market and there is a big market in the US in Europe and even here in Australia we got also a big market for bassa so in those fish we can feel the, the bones right the three bones one here one there and one there very strong so you can see from a fish from the external look of the fish you can see how it's grown if it's grown in good conditions or if it's grown in very high density here for example we can see that the fins are damaged so the fins are still are still there you know you can see some cases where uh, it's way worse but you can see that the, the fins are damaged you, you see normally it's supposed to be one big fin one nice fin but here you can see that the rays are broken uh, so the fish are not grown in the best conditions even if uh, it's probably one of the best farms I have visited uh, in Asia uh, you can see that the fish are, are still raised in very high density and they damage each other so bassa is a fish that can be raised in high density in very poor water quality uh, here the water uh, looks pretty good uh, but Anyway, in aquaponics, we always try to uh, maintain a low density of fish to keep the fish in the best conditions and to avoid any stress. And if you avoid all the stress on the fish, you're going to avoid all the disease. So you don't have any disease on, the, on your fish, you don't have any problem, and that's very easy to grow your fish. One kilo. So all the fish are approximately this size here, right? Uh, every size. Every size? Yeah. Every size is about 800. 800? 800 grams. Ah, yes, I understand now. 800 grams, 800. yes. So now we're going to go and feed the fish. So you can see that to go and feed the fish, we use some nice rafts. And those rafts are going along the rope. So we, it allows us to go all along uh, the pond. So we go from one way to another and we make sure to feed the fish during the journey. So in this way, we are sure to throw the food everywhere along the pond. So all the fish have access to the fish food. That's very important actually in aquaponics and in aquaculture. You want to make sure that all the fish have the same chance to have access to the fish food and they can eat uh, as much food as they want or as they need. Uh, and the reason why is that if you throw the food only from the shore, uh, you're going to have all the big fish that are going to come and uh, the small fish are not going to have access to the food because they're going to be pushed away. You can see the, the quantity of fish that there is in, in this pond, it's just crazy. Can you imagine 700 tons of fish in one pond? That's huge. So if you put all the food at one point, uh, you're going to have uh, a big concentration of all the big fish that are going to fight to have access to the food and the small one are not going to be able to reach it so here you can really see we spread the food everywhere so all the fish they just have to swim to the surface and they can directly eat so we do it twice a day so the, in this fish farm they, they feed twice a day i used to work in other fish farms where we used to feed three times or four times a day but here they do it only twice a day At this time of the year, uh, at this specific temperature, they throw uh, 10 tons of fish food for 700 tons of fish, which means they are feeding at 
here they are fishing the pond and uh, the fish is uh, into those nets they will bring the nets uh, forward towards this uh, this place here and all the fish is going to be here it's going to be able to catch it put it into the yellow bucket and then some workers are going to bring it to into this boat and in, th in that boat there are some some little uh, tanks I mean big tanks actually um, and this boat can hold 25 tons of fish so basically the whole pond is going to come into this boat here and then the boat is going to go to the factory where the fish are going to be processed how many workers are working for this farm? Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. So here into the factory they are uh, slaughtering the fish. So they simply put the fish straight away into a cold water. So you see there is a bit of ice into the water. So the water temperature is very low. And as you know the fish metabolism, the fish activity is completely dependent on the water temperature. So when you put the fish into this water, into this cold water, the fish are going to slowly uh, decrease their metabolic activity and they're going to die. And uh, that's supposed to be a very human way to kill the fish, but also it preserves the quality of the flesh because there are no bacteria that, um, that can grow uh, at these temperatures. So uh, the, the flesh of the fish is uh, remaining very, very good. So the farm we just visited was a farm made of pond digged into the soil, into the ground. But here we can see on the way back, I could see on the top of the Mekong River, some floating cages farms. So here they grow the bassa into the Mekong River thanks to some cages. That's exactly the same system as we saw when we went to Cambodia and we got a video about it on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, it was interesting for you to see how the, the bassa was uh, produced and processed. Don't forget to give a like to the video, to share the video with your friends and to subscribe to the channels. Finally, uh, we got a bonus in this video. We got a six step guide to uh, help you to build and to manage your aquaponics setup in the best conditions. So don't forget to get it from the description of this video. See you in the next one. Bye bye. Thank you for watching the video, I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to get your free gift from this screen. You can also leave me a comment below the video, subscribe to the channel and see my last video. I really hope to see you soon and I wish you a fantastic success with aquaponics. Have a good crop!